Hello everyone. Welcome to the solutions for ISI B Stat B Math Exam 2024. The exam has just concluded, so we are trying to bring you the solutions as fast as possible. Now we have done two questions earlier. Now we are doing this in haphazard way because we have the paper and we are trying to solve it. Whichever one gets solved first gets uploaded first. All right. So it's a rapid fire style. Now we have question one. Now upon first looking at this, it appeared a bit weird, but <laughs> upon a bit closer look, this question is quite easy. All right, so how would you do this question? This is basically a simple geometric progression, right? So you have x equal to one, right? x equal to one, then x, the next term is fifth root of two, right? So this is basically two to the power one by five, right? And then I have two to the power two to the power one by five, right? So this is two to the power two by five, right? And then two to the power three by five and so on doesn't go on to infinity, right? It stops there on the next term itself. So instead of dot, 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 I can just end it there at two to the power four by five, right? Now I have to find one plus one by x to the power. So I apply the sum of GP, right? Sum of GP will be x equal to a r to the power n minus one, right? So what is a one r to the power n? What is r here? r is two to the power one by five, right? And the number of terms are five. So two to the power, I'm sorry, two to the power one by five. This is to the power five minus one by r minus one. So two to the power one by five minus one. Right, so two to the power one fifth, to the power fifth is two to the power one minus one. This is basically one by two to the power one fifth minus one. Therefore one by x will be two to the power one fifth minus one. Right? And one plus one by x would be two to the power one fifth, right? So if I raise everything to the power 30, then two to the power one by five to the power 30 is basically two to the power six, which is two cubed whole square, which is 64. So here I have option D, okay? This is almost quite simple. And upon looking at it for the first time, we didn't identify it immediately but as soon as I broke down the powers of two it just finished in one flow all right so if you need any help relating to these type of sums because CMI exams are also coming up next week do contact the numbers given in the description below and we can help you there all right so I'll end the video here I'll see you all again in the next question whichever one is all first I'll upload it okay